One of the most picturesque locations in the world, let alone for college football, and you will see plenty of buffaloes roaming here. As we wind our way toward the end of another college football season, one of the grand traditions is paying tribute and respect to those who have just poured their souls into the success of this program and honor the seniors on Senior Day. As we'll see, the winners of three straight, the Army Black Knights, taking on the eighth-ranked team in the land, the Colorado Buffaloes. 48 Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. And the Black Knights will boot it away to start the game. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. He only needs a sliver of daylight. He's got an alley. Wide open, and it's a foot race. He will score! Touchdown, Bucks! Man, people still fill in the stands, and he takes the opening kickoff back to the house to fire up the crowd, fire up his teammates. What a start for this show, man. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. They're lining up to kick it off full of momentum after housing that last kickoff. No shot to return that one as he boomed it out of the back of the end zone. The Cadets offense is on the field for the first time today. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, just nothing doing on that last run, and they knew coming into this one they were going to be challenged, right? This is one of the best defenses in all of college football. For them to have any shot, they're going to have to do a lot better. Run. And he will be sacked at the six-yard line. The defense is going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. First one of the day is off. He was called on three times in that victory last week. Can they catch him? Really explosive when he gets his hands on the ball, and he found a couple of crevices and made a nice game before being run out of bounds. So Colorado's offense will have its first possession of the game. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaches. A shot toward the end zone. And a flag comes in as this one falls incomplete. Let's see what the call is. Touch, touch. Offense. Offense. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. And now on second down for this offense. After the incompletion, they go back up top. He caught it! And he was straining for the goal line, but the defense stopped him short. And the Buffaloes are threatening on first and goal. Looking for a man, it's Sanders. He's got it in the end zone! Touchdown, Colorado! This offense is so good. Man, they can hurt you in so many different ways, and they do it so quick, so explosive. They can put small drives together, big drives together. They've really had a great year, and that's why they're a top-10 offense. No chance to return that one. A booming kickoff out of the back of the end zone. It's a touchback. The Cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. 
Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or that scheme that you can use against this defense. Ball sitting right at the 30. It'll be third and short. Goes to the option. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. The Black Knights will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Looking for a block. It's Hunter. Slips through the line. Very little will make a crowd hold its breath like a punt return, and he brought them to their feet on that one. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. David, they'd love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did. Looking deep. Got it. And he'll take it to the house. He got loose. Touchdown, Buffalo. The mantra is always finished, and they're trying to do that here in the regular season with this Week 12 performance. And they add the extra point to finish the drive. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. No chance for a return as that ball flies out of the back of the end zone. The drive starts from their own 25-yard line. The option look. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. And the running game has gone in the wrong direction. The offense tries to turn it around and go forward on third down. Pocket starts to collapse. And the sack all the way back at the five. Referee signals timeout. It's the defense wanting to make sure that they have everything just right with a big play coming. He gets it away from his own end zone. Just about took that one to the house. They finally bring him down, but when you have a return like that, it pretty much eats up everything gained by the punt. Back to pass, it's Sanders. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. And the D deny them on second and goal. Well, things have mostly been going right for this offense in this game so far. That's why they have the lead they have, but that... And it's caught! Touchdown, Bucks! Why not double the try total and go for two? Trying to pound it in. Stumbled to the ground. Well, head coach obviously decided it was best to go for two points right there. They didn't get it, and you just wonder if chasing the points is going to hurt this team later in the game. No shot at a return. It's out of the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. Army has it back in the offense, ready to go. Maybe they learned something from their opening script of plays, David, but other than that, this has been an abject disaster. And I think they learned what not to do. I mean, this has been an abject disaster. They haven't done anything right. Offense, defense, oh, this one's ugly, and it's still early. Yeah, I'd normally say, well, it's first quarter, just don't worry about it, there's time, but don't worry. this is the worst start you possibly could have had. So they need to score a touchdown right here. On third and long, you'll need to push it downfield. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. And they've been waiting for something good to happen with respect to getting after the quarterback, right? They're outside of the top 100 in the country in sacks per game. But finally now, you see they're generating this pass rush. Three sacks on the game so far. And the ball comes to rest right there. What a really good job by the punt team. Listen, you put all your speed, your athletes, a lot of starters are on these teams now in college football, and that's the reason why. You need these guys to go down, make plays. He lets one fly deep. And he hauls it in inside the 30. Touchdown, Colorado. And once he got loose, it was all over. 
He can find the end zone. Now 60 career touchdown catches. I mean, that is just silly that this guy is always finding ways to get in the end zone. Like, you know they want to take him away. He is the focal point. 60 touchdowns, you know they're going to throw it to him. Palmer keeps making plays. And, David, throughout his career, we've seen defenses try everything to stop this guy. They bracketed him, double coverage, man coverage, zone coverage. It doesn't matter. He's the ultimate weapon. 60 touchdown catches is so good. And the extra point was good. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Not going to get a return here. They'll bring it out to the 25 as the kickoff sails through the back of the end zone. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession, Jesse. This offense needs to get their heads out of their you-know-what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They've got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. Four punts already, and they've got to convert here to avoid a fifth. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. And the Black Knights line up to punt it away. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today, and no doubt he's going to earn his varsity ladder. Makes a move. There he goes. Open it up. He'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Buffaloes. A dynamic, explosive return. The sliver of daylight exploding through it, just vaporizing and reappearing on the other side and housing it. And punt returns are so quick, you can play touch football in an elevator with them and lose. You can't even get your hand on them. so quick, so elusive. That's such a great job making people miss, but still going full speed up the field to get all the way to the end zone and Make score the TD. <laughs> And the extra point just tacks a little bit more onto this huge lead. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Auburn is behind significantly on that scoreboard. This has been a gong show since old War Eagle took flight today. They're trailing by 14 to ULM. For now, it's back to you fellas, but of course, if anything changes, you'll see it right here. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Man, it's fun to watch defense that just, they, they look so in sync and coordinated. And watching the tape coming into this week's game, you could tell last week, this defense was dialed in. They don't give up big plays. They don't give up points that make you earn everything. Looking like another game like that so far today. They're going to keep this drive going. They'll have to make a play on third and long from the 26. Here comes the option. And boy, is he close to that first down. Maybe just a couple of inches short. The Black Knights decide to punt it away. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. On the return, it's Hunter. He gets a block. He's going to get loose. He will score. Touchdown, Bucks. That return man saw daylight the instant the ball touched his hands, and he darted to it and took it to the house. And, Reese, I think it's one of the hardest things to do in football, to catch the ball as all these guys are flying around you, and you got to take it, make a miss, try to find spaces and creases that aren't there. Great job making a huge play. Special teams and punt returns coming up big. Here comes the two-point try. Come on, set. Trying to punch it in. He's got the two-point conversion, and they build on that lead. Guys, Colorado has the lead here. They wanted to strike first and strike hard, and they've been able to do that here in the first quarter as we take a look at the stats. 
This could be a pivotal moment in this game as we open the second period and they try to find a way to answer. They're just about ready to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his spot. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. Good news, I guess. A lot of room to work with as they start this drive from their own 15. They'll power it inside with the fullback. And stick him to the run. I'll tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. They'll run the option. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Third down after the run. Now on the option. Really needed a play like that to get out of their own end. They move the chains. They mark it at the 29. And the Black Knights have it with a first and 10. He's looking to throw it. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. He'll ride his man on the option. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Ball's at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. Running back goes in motion. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. The Black Knights will punt it away on fourth down. Looking for a block. It's Hunter. He turns like that or why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the yoke. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position. He's going to let it go. And they dialed up a shot play, but they couldn't hook up. That's an example of the offensive coordinator trying to be aggressive and trying to take a shot. Now, the offense isn't able to click on that play, but move. Let's it fly. He's got it. And he takes it all the way. They couldn't stop him. Touchdown, Colorado. Now the two-point conversion attempt is coming. Trying to run it in. He's into the end zone for the two and extends the lead. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. That might be overdoing it, keeping it away from the return man as the kickoff goes out of bounds. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. Don't know if the defense will appreciate having to defend a short field from the start after that penalty. On first down, here comes this offense. The give to the fullback. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. Looking for a man. It's Daly. Getting some heat. And that pass picked off. Couldn't find a ton of room on that return to that small change. They take over at the 43. The first down for the offense. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Looking for the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Buffaloes. Getting aggressive here and going for two. They're going to run it into the end zone for the two-point conversion as they extend the lead. That drive not too taxing on the playbook. One play, put it in the end zone just like that. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Army has it back in the offense, ready to go. Boy, they hope this next drive is more productive after throwing a pick last time, Jesse. Yeah, and the coaches did a good job on the sideline there, just talking to the young quarterback and making sure he's able to turn the page, calm him down, to go out and refocus this drive. Yeah, and some people do that better than others, but you got to show some trust in him, maybe get the ground game going, help around him a little bit with the system. On the option. Line getting set on second down. 
Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Defense there to stop him after a two-yard gain to the 31. Let's see if they keep it on the ground here on third down. They'll run the option. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And great job getting in the backfield, making it very difficult for him to make reads and understand what the heck's going on. Bottling him up, that's the biggest thing. When you play a running quarterback, you want to bottle him up. You want to set those edges really, really firm and make him turn back inside where all the big boys are coming. You don't let that speed get to the outside. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. This has been exactly the way you draw things up. Oh, he wants it all. And he pulls it in inside the 15-yard line. Touchdown, Bucks! And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. Well, this offense is top 10 in the country in points per game because they've got a lot of speed and they've got home run hitters. They score fast. They don't need 10 plays to go down the field. You saw it right there. They've recruited well. They've got playmakers. They're going to be a problem for defense all year long. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. On the option. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this thing has been one-sided, and they hope to at least have something to feel good about going into halftime. To the air. It's Daly. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. And he gets home again, continuing his production. Last week, two sacks. This week, already a sack in the first half. This guy has been on a sack terror. The back goes in motion. On the ground, it's Stewart. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And the Black Knights will line up to punt it away. Three and out, and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Running it back, it's Hunter. Wide open, and it's a foot race. He'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Colorado. He did that one all by himself. Make a few guys miss. Turn on the afterburners, and boom, everybody's toast. And that's why you got him back deep, because that guy can do that. you got to be explosive and quick and have good vision. And you see all those things on one punt return. Takes it back to the house, makes me from this. Turn on the gas. Great job, great return. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. And the returner will be brought down. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. Now you find out just how much of a gunslinger you are. Will you roll the dice here late in the half, David? And you know the defense is... And he will be sacked at the six-yard line. He is a menace rushing the passer. Career sack number 20. I mean, some people just have a knack for getting to the quarterback. What a great job throughout his career. Getting there, getting him down, getting pressures. He has been a quarterback's worst nightmare. I was just going to say, David, you don't sleep well as a quarterback the night before you have to play against this guy because he is going to sack you. That is a guarantee. Death, taxes, and sacks for that guy. Thanks, guys. A first half that saw a little bit of everything there in Boulder. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. With that said, let's send it back to the fellas at Folsom Field. Thanks for that breakdown, Kevin. The kickoff team out Number there getting set. Set to kick this one away. On the run from inside his own five. 
Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Army has it back in the offense, ready to go. Nothing went right in that first half in the first order of business here. Try not to be embarrassed any further. But the comeback is possible. Remember 2006, Michigan State down 35 to Northwestern at halftime? They somehow came back and won the game. But it all starts on one play, and that has to happen here on this first drive for the end. Yeah, the first. Nowhere to go, and the ball's loose. Once that ball was loose, offense didn't have a chance. Defenders everywhere. It's a turnover. The offense starts with a short field. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. That completion takes them down to the seven-yard line, and they are ready to strike. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Looking for the score! Touchdown, Buffalo! And the stomping has commenced. How about this? These guys are going for two. Snap it to the back. He's got the two-point conversion, and they build on that lead. They didn't have a whole lot of real estate in front of them when they took over possession, but they wasted no time. Couple of plays into the end zone. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And it's caught from inside the 20, and here he comes. Probably needed to pick up an extra block or two, but as it is, he'll be stopped at the 28. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. And after that last turnover, David, prime example, sometimes the harder you try, the worse it gets. And it just puts you behind the eight ball. I mean, this offense has to do something. Put it together. You got a deficit, Palmer. You need some mojo. Something needs to go your way. At this point in the game, they've got to score touchdowns every time they have possession. Let's see what they've got on second down. On the option. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And yeah, that's kind of surprising. We talked about this before the game. One of the big matchups. Run the football against a defense that's been susceptible against the run throughout the season. But this offense just can't find a way to get it. Fires into traffic. Picked off. He'll try to take it back. The tag. Touchdown, Bucks. How about that D coming up with a play like that? The DB saw it. He thought, don't drop it, don't drop it. Then thought, don't get caught, don't get caught. And he didn't. The pick six. Hey, these guys can play offense, too, now. Look at this. I showed you I can be a wide receiver. Coach might split them out at wide receiver next week after making that big play. But defense, great job making the interception on your right. Doing something with it. Don't just slide down. Don't be content. Take that thing all the way back, brother. On the move from inside is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Army has it back in the offense, ready to go. Well, the good news is they threw a touchdown pass last time. It was just... It's a fumble! The defense all over that loose ball, and now they're bringing it back. And the big fella blocks most of the time, but they kind of surprise you, especially in short yard situations. Hand it to the big fella, but you never expect him to cough it up and force the turnover. Man, what a, what a turn of events. Looking to go up top on first down. Touchdown, Colorado! And the punishment has been extended. Climbing up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. That's taking advantage of a golden opportunity set up with great field position, and they struck quickly for the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. Defense better dig in for the run. Heavy formation is there. Leaves it with the running back. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Goes to the option. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Feeling some heat. 
And the quarterback goes down all the way back at his four-yard line. And it's been a long day. I mean, I, there's not much to point out that this offense has done well. They're behind huge, and they got no shot if they can't somehow find a way to protect their quarterback. Bringing it back, it's Hunter. Touchdown, Buffalo! And the route is on. Looking for the two-point try. Direct snap. He's into the end zone for the two and extends the lead. Kickoff team takes the field after the punt return for the touchdown. Let's see what they've got in coverage now. Takes it inside his own 20. Chance for great field position here. And the returner is stopped. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. The option look. He'll keep it himself. Not a lot of room there. He'll pick up a few before he's forced out of bounds. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? Here comes the option. They tried to go smash mouth on third and short, and it did not work against this defense. The Black Knights will punt this one away. They'll look to pin them deep. They'll get down and put a stop to the return at about the 28-yard line. The offense set for a first down play. Dropping back, it's Sanders. Oh, he's going to try to get it all here. He holds it in, and nobody's close. Touchdown, Bucks! And the pummeling has started. And I think in the pre-snap, I think both of these guys were on the same page. They had a look defensively that let them know we can pitch this thing way down the field. I'm going to go run under it and make a big play. Yeah, and when I'm the receiver, I'm like, I'm open, right? I'm, I'm, I'm going straight down the field through the football. I got the speed. I can beat this guy. You can tell they've done that so much in practice. They knew it was second nature, and they executed it perfectly. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. Army has it back in the offense, ready to go. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. The give to the big fullback. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it, and now it's just going to be a passing game. That shows a lot of poise and a lot of experience by that guy there. Not thinking to himself, hey, on third and long, I, I'm going to have to throw and make a really good throw here to go get this first. Hey, if it's not there, you don't got to force the issue. You're a good enough athlete to go take off and get it yourself with your legs. Beautiful job. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. This has got to be disappointing if you're the offense, guys. You were expecting to have a lot of success running the ball, especially against this defense, which has struggled so much this season, but just nothing doing. They... And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. will call on their punt team. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. He's got great speed. 
the speed, the shiftiness, the elusiveness, all on display in that sweet return there. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. On the run, it's Hayden. Open space at the 25. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Nice job getting outside, right? Those running backs, they get on those tracks, they run outside. Now they're in the open field. It's so tough. Those safeties are flying down, try to get an angle, but you can tell the speed sets him up, makes the big play out to the left. Not a lot of room down here. He's able to pick up two. It's down at the 12. Guys, Colorado has the lead here. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. So will the beatdown continue, or is this a comeback for the ages in store? We'll see as we start the fourth. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Pressure coming. Quick strike complete. Oh, they knock it free. Defense falls on the ball. Going to be a turnover. Well, it's a nice job by him making the... Well, hang on here. The coach has called a timeout. He wants the officials to take another look. Thinks he's got a good shot at getting this one overturned. Might have to give that coach a flag and a whistle. He was right on in his view of the play, and the officials agree and overturn the call. Ready? They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Cut, cut, cut. Back to pass, it's Sanders. Can't make the play on the interception, and man, they were looking for their first pick of the game. Instead, it'll be fourth down. No signs of any kind of kicker as they'll leave the offense out there to try to move the... Touchdown, Colorado! And the beatdown has ensued. That's what finishing the deal looks like. Build the lead in the fourth quarter and close in on 11 straight victories. Slams ahead. End of the end zone for the two-point conversion as they extend the lead. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Not going to give him a chance to make a play as they boot that thing through the end zone. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. And don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. Off the play fake on first down, the throw. And he can find a receiver, and down he goes. How about this defense? No mercy. Like, listen, I know we're up big, but they are still hunting, still flying around, still chasing, still making life really miserable for this offense. And the pressure gets to him again. Another sack. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. And whatever they did on first and second down, don't do that anymore. Third and very long coming up. The corners are walked up tight. Trying to get to it. And this defense has maxed out this pressure. Another sack. The Black Knights will send out the punt unit. He'll bring it back. It's Hunter. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Can they catch him? He will score! Touchdown, Buffalo! Man, this has been a complete performance. The defense has been lights out, and the offense, obviously, just continues to pour it on. This is what you call having a great day. Putting it all together, offense, defense, complimentary football. The kickoff team is out there, and after giving up a punt return for the score, this offense needs to do some work. This will not be returnable as it sails out of the back of the end zone. Army has it back in the offense ready to go. 
David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Using his legs, keeping his eyes downfield. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Wants to throw. It's Bolden. Coming after it. And this defense is bringing the Heat another sack. And the Black Knights send out the punt unit. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. So from his own end zone, the punt is away. Slips through the line. Touchdown, Bucks! And the stomping has commenced. You can see it on the sideline. They built a comfortable fourth quarter lead, and they know they're going to go 11-0. What a nice job by the punt returner. First thing he does, secures the catch, and you can tell they set up the return. He reads his blocks really well, turns on the afterburners all the way to the end zone. Special teams coming up with a huge play. Some running backs just have a nose for the end zone. That guy did a great job there in the two-point play, running that one in. Just unloaded on that kickoff. Don't have to worry about a return on a kick like that. They'll bring it out to the 25. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Throws to the wideout. Missed his receiver there. It's incomplete. And it's just been that kind of day for this quarterback in this offense, guys. They have never been able to get into a rhythm throwing the football. Timing's been off. Accuracy hasn't been great. We've seen some drops. Just not in sync. And that's why they find themselves trailing by a lot right here late in the game. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. The Black Knights come to the line with a new set of downs. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. They're trying to get to it. Trying to buy a little time, and he cannot, but he does get it back closer to the line of scrimmage. They gave up the sack on first down. Now it's second and 11. Back to throw. It's Bolden. Looking to scramble. And this defense goes back to back sack, Jack. This is a third and long. And I bet the frustration meter for this offense is so high. If you can't keep your quarterback upright, it's hard to move the ball. It's and the pressure gets to him again. Another sack. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. And the Black Knights will try to pin them back with the punt. Makes a move. And there he goes. They will get him. It's a touchdown. And how about this squad, man? Looking good again. Like, I feel like we say this week in and week out. Just continuing to remain undefeated. Whatever it takes, offense, defense, special teams, they have been a good unit. And that's why their ranking is so high. Kickoff team is out there after that last puff return for a touchdown. Let's see if we get another big special teams play. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. Army has it back in the offense ready to go. This has been an old-fashioned fanny paddling, David. I mean, they've just got taken behind the woodshed. 
there's nothing to say. This has been an absolute beatdown. Dominated from the start, Jesse, to almost the finish now. They have done nothing right. Everyone's going to have to have a real hard look at themselves, I think, this week after watching the film. And, and the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. And man, is that a just indictment of the day. Your quarterback getting drilled late in the football game. This offense has sputtered. They haven't found any kind of good rhythm. They haven't done things that, that really gives your coach confidence and, and makes you want to believe in them. This offense has a lot of work to do before they're and they're going to put another one into the end zone as they just keep piling points on the scoreboard. Two-point conversion attempt is on the way. They'll try to run it in. He's got the two-point conversion, and they build on that lead. After giving up the punt return for the score, let's see if they have an answer on the kickoff. Cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. This has been a really disappointing performance, David. No question about that. But they can find some pop. And the Heat will get home. And the quarterback goes down at the 17. They come to the line hoping to get some of that yardage back from the 17. Dropping back, it's Bolden. Quarterback extends the play. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this drive. The Black Knights will bring the punt team onto the field. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. He gets a block. There he goes. Open it up. They won't get him. It's a touchdown. Man, you knew this one was over already, but how about an exclamation point to go with it? Another score for this offense. They've had themselves a great day, and the stats just continue to pile up. Couple of guys there to get him on the ground. The kickoff team is out there, and their number one job is to make sure one special team's touchdown isn't answered with another one. They'll put this one in play. First snap of the drive from the 25. Going up top on first down. The throw. Pass is incomplete, and we dwindle down to seven seconds. After the misfire, now on second down. He's looking to throw. He's going up top here late in the game. Ball in the air, intercepted! And with that turnover, we come to the close of this game. Just complete and utter dominance in this one. Outplayed their opponent and took care of business. Yeah, total domination in all three phases of the game. Offense, defense, and special teams. This team 